Today we have a special guest, Mr. Gary. Hi, Gary. Gary. What do you want? Do you want something? Are you demanding me something? Gary. Gary. What do you want? Ooh, yeah. Gary, why are you being so scared? Gary. Gary. Doofus. Doofus kitty. Doofus. Come here. Doofus. Let's see the face. The face. Doofus kitty. Gary. I think he spots something off there. Look. You see something. Gary. Go eat your food. Come on. Go eat your food. Gary, that's not normal what you're doing. Are you okay? That's not normal. First of all, look at your ducky feet. Second of all, you're demanding something. And it's this, of course. Oh, gosh. You know you want to. You want all the frickin' attention you can frickin' get. Dude, dude I know it, this guy. This guy will get any attention he can get. Gary. 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 I love this guy. You happy? You happy? Yeah? You're so adorable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's begging for attention. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, Gary, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. This red spot on his face. It wasn't like that before, and it's really gotten worse, and it's really worrying me and making me sad. Are you gonna be okay? I'm asking you, Gary, are you gonna be okay? Because that thing on your face does not look normal. It's okay, let me kiss you. I know you hate it, let me do it. He's, he's fine, he's just, I'm worried. He has, like, no energy, and that thing on his face is just getting worse as the day goes on. So I told my mom, it's an emergency. Take Gary to the vet ASAP. Because look at that thing on his face. That's, that's not okay anymore. It was, it was fine and small, like, this size. It was, like, this size. Like, it was very, it was, like, to a grab. It was, like, this small. Now it's just increasing. It's huge. Gary, I'm really worried about you. You know, I love you a lot. I really never wanted to have to put this video on YouTube here tonight or today or whenever you're watching this video here on YouTube but I'm making this video to pay respect to somebody who was very important in my family um, and that would be our cat named Gary he was um, an amazing cat and that is why I am making this video dedicated to him today um, unfortunately for Gary, things did not go the way as planned, and um, we ended up losing him. He passed away about a year and a half ago. And you might be saying, well, that was a very long time since that happened. And yes, it was a very long time since that happened. It was, matter of fact, it was in October of 2022. And that was over a year ago. But I've had a lot of things going on. I've been very scared to mention this. I've been very, I didn't feel like I was in the right shoes to be mentioning this. I wasn't feeling the right way. I didn't have the right attitude to approach it and approach you guys and to saying the situation in the correct way. And so now I believe that I'm in the right mind and I can kind of give respect to Gary as much as I can as possible. He was something incredibly different to this family. And what I mean by that is, 
there will be no other cat that can ever replace something like him. He had a personality like no other cat. He was playful. He was goofy. He was called Doofus, oftentimes. And he was just a very loving cat. And of course, Gary has a sister. Her name is Evie, and she's doing very well. And Gary, um, if you're watching this video, I just want to let you know that I'm taking very good care of her, and she's in good hands, and she's very happy. And she's actually right up here, just sitting up there on my bed. Um, but yeah, um, she's doing well, and I'm watching over her for you, and I'm taking care of her. And so I want you to be happy. Um, he did not go the way that you want any would want anyone to go. Um, it was not exactly great. And I'm going to give you a little timeline. So, first, um, if anyone wants to know, uh, we got Gary in the year of 2012. Um, that was the year that we um, saved him. He was supposed to be um, killed because um, he had a um, disease and so did his sister have a, I don't know what type of problem it was exactly, but all I know is that they were put in the, um, the death center, kind of, where they put the animals where they're like unhealthy or they have some sort of problem with them. And they weren't even supposed to have a life at all. But they got, uh, Gary got to have um, one of the best lives of any cat. Um, he was very spoiled. Um, and, you know, he took advantage of that. He really did enjoy himself. And everyone really did enjoy his company. And, you know, everyone was devastated when they found out that he was gone. And, you know, Gary was very attached to his mom my mother um that was his person every cat has the person that they make their own but um you know that was her that was his um so he loved her and you know she was very attached to him and when he left it really hurt her bad um but it also hurt everyone else and so we got him uh he lived about if anyone's wondering he lived about 10 years um which is actually quite short for a male cat. Um, male cats are typically supposed to live, um, I would like to say between uh, 12 to 14 years. Um, I hope that's right. You can Google search and check the internet if I'm wrong on by any end. Um, but I believe that that was um, the year, how long he was supposed to live. And um, unfortunately, he didn't get to do that. And it was very sad. But, um, we got him in 2012, um, in April, um, one of the best days of my life ever. Uh, introduced two of the best animals in my life that I'm ever going to meet. I will never meet, oh, well, I'm not going to say never, but I'm definitely going to say that I will never meet any other cats that are um, like these ones. Every cat is different in their own ways, and that is what makes them very lovable. And Gary was goofy and funny, and that's what was so special about him. And it's kind of been weird not having that around. It really has been for the last year. It hasn't been easy. Um, but everyone is getting through it the best that they can and um, dealing with it. And my final uh, way of dealing with that is um, bringing this video to you guys and telling you guys about um, what happened and paying my respect to Gary because he deserves this video. I mean, he... Um, he went through a lot, especially as a kitten. Uh, so I think that, um, you know, making this video is important for it. I'm making this video. I don't want to say I'm not making this video for you guys, but I'm really making the video for him. And uh, if you're here in this room or watching anywhere or wherever the hell you are hiding, because you always have to hide um, everywhere, uh, just know that I support you, I'm on your side, and I love you, Gary, and um, you were definitely something that um, that I wish I still had. 
and I love your sister. She's an amazing cat. That's my kitty. She's amazing. Hey, Evie. I thought she was me on. But I'm definitely going to miss him. And I still do right now. For sure. But we got him in 2012. Um, and um, in June of 2022, um, we noticed that he started vomiting a lot. A lot of foods were being vomited. And it was really weird. Um, because... Uh, you know, it was not normal, so we were wondering why, so uh, we took him to the doctor, and they told us to change his diet, and we did change his diet, um, and, you know, it was working a little bit, but, you know, not really, it just, eventually, it became, you know, it wasn't working, and it was just really bad, um, you know, it got worse, he got a lot smaller, um, you know, he was, uh, you know, he wasn't really, he was using the restroom in different places. He smelled terrible. He had bones sticking out of him. And it wasn't his fault. You know, he was sick. And, um, well, the day hit. Um, I don't even know if I can say this right now. Okay, um, but it was October 1st, uh, 2022, and uh, that was the day that I found him um, on the floor uh, uh, frozen. And I thought that he was having a stroke, and I called my mom and uh, rushed him to the ho uh, she rushed him to the hospital, um, to the emergency animal hospital. Um, it didn't take long, uh, he was in a lot of pain, um, and once he got to the hospital, they gave him, like, a shot. I was on the phone with my mom, and I will always remember this for my entire life, um, but, uh, essentially, uh, I, um, gave him a shot, and, uh, he passed away. That was the moment we lost him. And then, um, I remember the next two minutes, I told him how I felt. I told him what he meant to me. And that was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. And it was one of the hardest things I ever went through. And, um, I felt good because I, you know, I told him everything. But I was also deeply saddened and, uh, really crying my eyes out for uh months and i it still gets me every time i talk about it right now i'm all depressed because i'm talking about it um but um you know i just think that it's important that i bring it up with all of you um one of the worst things that uh, that happened from all of this that i still you know i don't know why it happened um but we never even got the ashes. I, I don't know what happened to the ashes. Um, I was told that uh, that somebody did a fraudulent signature for it. Uh, and I've worked for those companies. Yeah, I had my first job. Uh, I'll be posting about that soon. Um, but uh, they're not supposed to do that. That's against company policy but they did it anyway with Gary's ashes. And, um, you know, classic Gary. Gary always liked to hide. He hid for three days the first time we got him. Three days we couldn't find him. And so, Gary remains hidden for, I guess, all eternity until one day that I pass away, whenever that's gonna be, and I hope that's peacefully, and I'm not miserable. Um. But, you know, until then, I hope he's out somewhere. I know he is. I just, I can't see him because I'm alive. I can't see ghosts. Even if I were to believe in them or not, I can't see it. So I don't really know where he is. But I know, I have a feeling that, that he's somewhere. Somewhere around. And I know he's looking around, I know he's watching me, he's laughing at me. 
He's like, it's not that big of a deal. Well, he thinks it's a big deal, but like, it's just, you know. He's happy, he's enjoying himself. He's probably parting his ass off with all the other kittens up there. All the different uh, kittens, all of them. Probably has a wife, probably has some kids. Can't believe it. But, um, yeah, I made this video to uh, pay him the respect, finally. I know I felt, I feel awful that I took this long to make a video for him, but I finally did it. And I think that that's all right. I think that he'll be okay with this. I hope so at least because I, this video is for him and only for him. And it is not made for views. It is made entirely to pay respect for him. And he had many videos on this channel. He was seen in a lot of our videos. And so he was a major character in the channel. And so every character must start at the beginning and must start at an end. And unfortunately, his end was much sooner than anticipated. But that is pretty much it. Um, Gary, I have one last thing to say to you, and that is that I love you uh, dearly. And I hope that you are out there happy uh, exploring the world and changing and doing fun things and not worrying about anything that you had to worry about as a cat. Um, and I really hope that you're having a good time because I really care about you. I love you a lot. You meant a lot in my life and you still do mean a lot in my life. And um, just I want you to know that you're always going to have my respect. and. You know, I would help you if I could, and when I do, you know, pass away, I will help you. So I just want to know you to know that that I'm I'm on your side. Until next time. Goodbye, Gary, and goodbye to all of you. And before all of you go, I wanted to show uh, Gary that that I'm taking care of his sister. She's happy. She's doing well, Gary. She is doing well.